Lint Joy Crate Unboxing Take 3. I am having one hell of a time making this video for you all. <laughs> first of all, my computer died when I was trying the first time. And I probably won't be able to replace my computer now until the first of the year when finances hopefully straighten out a little bit. Right now, I've got to call into the plumber because we have a big leak in the basement. Yay! And we all know that costs a lot. Anyway, enough about that crap. Let's get into the Lit Joy Crate. That's what you're here for. It's already been opened because, like I said, this is my third attempt. Um, theme for September is Haunted Manor. Woo. Um, I like that they do a little booklet instead of just a card. So, yeah, there's like really nice descriptions of everything. It's laid out nicely. So our October's theme is Fallen Angel, so if you're interested in that, there you go. Uh, I don't even know what order I'm doing things in anymore. These are page tabs for, based on the Adams Family. I believe the first one is Morticia, followed by Wednesday, Cousin It, Pugsley, Uncle Fester, and Gomez. Um, we have a patch for, based on Ghostbusters. I love the Ghostbusters movies, both the classic and the more recent female-based one. Um, so, yeah, whatever. Equal opportunity Ghostbusting. We have a woodmark featuring Jack Skellington from Nightmare Before Christmas. And on the back, it says Lit Joy Crate at the top with his ghost dog Zero coming out of a grave on the bottom. I think that is super cute. We have scrunchies, hair scrunchies, which I really think are adorable. These are based on Coraline, uh, the Neil Gaiman book. I'm absolutely a fanatic about Neil Gaiman. So the purple one features Coraline and the kitty cat. The yellow one features keys for all the locked doors. And the blue one has buttons for the button eyes. Unfortunately, I can't use those right now because I had my hair cut a couple weeks ago. If you've been watching any of my videos, you've seen that it's super, super short. Next, and I've already taken these out of the package. Um, my phone cut off on me while I was trying to do that. So We have two cards based on the Illuminae files. Katie and Ezra. I really can't tell you anything else about them. Um... Other than it appears to be spacey because they look like they're wearing kind of spacey outfits. I've never read it. It's not even on my want to read list at the moment. It just, this doesn't sound like something that appeals to me personally. And since those are the only two cards I have out of the whole set, it's not going to make a whole lot of difference. Um, this is a scarf. Based on, I believe, the Haunted Manor. Yeah, Haunted Mansion at Disney. I'm not going to unfold it all the way. I mean, it's, it's soft, super soft. But this will give you a good idea of what the pattern looks like. You got creepy crawlies, you know, ghosties and spiders and bats and candelabra and all kinds of neat stuff. If nothing else, I love the fabric. Um, I'm not sure, like, if it'll be a very warm scarf. Oh, look, it's, like, variegated. Or what's the word now? Ombre. It's much darker on one end than the other. Anyway, that's cool. I like it. I don't know how much use I would get out of it. And um, this is a print and author letter. Let me see if I can get this where it's... Like, actually legible. I don't know if y'all can read that or not. Anyway, it's for the book. And now we have the book. I like that they come in these little bags. This is the first box I've gotten where, um, I thought I got all those little squiggly things out of here. Where the, uh, bag comes in the, where the book comes in a bag. <laughs> or the bag comes in a book, whatever. This is... A Treason of Thorn... Man, the light on my camera just is not letting you see that very well because it's very shiny. 
it's metallic and it is so pretty. And quite honestly, I have no idea what the book's about. <laughs> Break Free or Burn Together. A Treason of Thorns by Laura Weymouth. Weymouth? Weymouth? I am bad at names. Let's see what this thing looks like. It's just kind of a grayish color with silver writing on the spine. But the inside of the dust jacket has the same print as what was on the uh, spoiler booklet. And it is super hard for me to show you because it, all it wants to do is curl up. <sighs> all right. So let's see what this book is about. Violet Sterling has spent the last seven years in exile <coughs> longing to return to Burley House, one of the six great houses of England. Burley's magic always kept the countryside well, and as a child, this magic kept Violet happy, draping her in flowers while she slept, fashioning secret hiding places for her, and lighting fires on the coldest nights to keep her warm. Everything shattered, though, when her father committed high treason by trying to free Burley from the king's oppressive control. He was killed, and Vi was forced into hiding. When she's given a chance to go back, she, discover she discovers Burley has run wild with grief. Vines and briars are crumbling the walls. Magic that once enriched the surrounding countryside has turned dark and deadly, twisting lush blooms into thorns, poisoning livestock, and destroying crops. Burley's very soul is crying out in pain. Vi would do anything to help, and soon she finds herself walking the same deadly path as her father all those years before. Vi must decide how far she's willing to go to save her house before her house destroys everything she's ever known. And this is from Harper Teen. Let me see if I can... I don't know, the way the light comes off the camera on this phone is really wreaking havoc with trying to show you a decent image. So I'm going to guess that's Vi. Did it say who the guy was? Uh, no, it doesn't say the guy's name. So anyway, and it looks like ghosties in there. I hope this has... Lots of ghosties in it because, you know, cool. Um, ooh, books in the library. Yay. So anyway, that is the Lit Joy Crate. Uh, if you're interested in it, I will try to remember to leave a link. Um, at Lit Joy Crate. Usually it says, says it on the box somewhere. I like the box. Uh, no, it doesn't say on here. Of course not. I think it's probably litjoycrate.com. But anyway, uh, that's all the goodies. Now I have a complete mess on my couch that I need to clean up. So <laughs> I will have another video for you soon. I should be getting um, Shelf Love Crate, I think, sometime this week, maybe tomorrow. Yeah. I know it's been shipped. And then in October, I will have Owl Crate again, and I will get Fairy Loot. Fairy Loot? Yeah, Fairy Loot. Because they got a vampire box, and I'm excited. So, yeah. Anyway, that's some upcoming stuff. Um, hopefully, this video is not too terribly crappy. Um, it's the first time I've actually managed to get a video done on my phone, so... Anyway, see you later. I'm waving at the phone as if you can see me because I'm on the other side. But anyway, <laughs> um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you subscribe, ring the bell icon to get notifications. Apparently now you can select personalized where you don't get them every time. Or you can select all. I would select all because I'm so sporadic at uploading that that may be the only way you know I upload. So anyway, <laughs> we will see you next time. Bye.